Welcome back to the channel and to the beautiful island nation of Mauritius. In this video, we'll explore this African destination's breathtaking waterfalls, beaches, and culture, get caught in the rain on a motorbike while doing so, and show you around the five-star, all-inclusive Heritage Latel Fair Golf and Wellness Resort. Thanks for joining us. After arriving from Johannesburg, Heritage Latel Fair was an easy 40-minute car ride from the airport. This property is beautifully situated in the Belle Ombre village and features gorgeous French plantation estate architecture similar to that of this area in the early 19th century. Not once to waste time while traveling, Aaron and I immediately jumped into the activities on offer at this all-inclusive resort. Here we are, yes. walking to yoga. Yes. I'm gonna sweat my ass off here, but yes. it's fine. The sunset yoga was as advertised, on a deck overlooking the golf course and next to this well-manicured estate. We took some time after yoga to explore more of the property before winding down with some nice Thai food and sushi at one of Heritage's five award-winning restaurants on site and preparing for our room tour. Welcome to our honeymoon suite here at the lovely Heritage Lake Hotel Fair in Mauritius. As you walk in the door, we have our beautiful ensuite guest bathroom, equipped with a bath, a shower, <laughs> a private toilet area. Oh, great! And our walk-in closet. Wonderful. If you continue along, you will see our lovely entry, dining, and living room area. Popping shortly. Great. There's a little one plate of fruit. And then the piece de resistance. So we have our private little beach area, which is incredible. After getting settled in, it was time to explore more of it's my hot little ride. The Haoju. It's pretty good to me. As I was taught long ago by my good friend Satchel, islands in any tropical location are best explored by motorbike. Zipping around Mauritius is a blast, and given its size, it only takes about two hours to go from the north coast to the south. With that size in mind, it's easy to hit a number of different spots of interest in just one day. The first stop of my bike tour was the Chamorel Waterfalls. Chamorel Falls is the tallest single drop waterfall in Mauritius at about 330 feet, and it's easy to see why it's one of its most visited sites. Also within the village of Chamorel is the Seven Colored Earth Geopark. Now, this spot is a bit underwhelming as some of the photos and videos online are likely digitally altered to make it look more vibrant. But sometimes you just gotta learn this stuff the hard way and see it for yourself. So I just finished driving through Black Gorges National Park, which was a beautiful drive, as you could see. And uh, it was really cool, I didn't capture this on video. There were a bunch of Mauritians that were lining the road throughout that drive. It was clear they were collecting some sort of uh, berry or something like that. So I pulled over and just asked what they were collecting and uh, this one man was kind enough to share two of them with me. I'm gonna put the name of it on the screen because I didn't quite catch it. But um, yeah, it was a really nice, really nice berry and uh, a good little pick me up on my drive. I have about 15 more minutes to get to Tamarind Falls. The weather appears to be turning a little bit. Um, I think we'll be all right, and I don't think it'll rain before I get there, but so far it's been a beautiful drive. Cannot recommend this enough. It's just a, a, an awesome way to experience any country, and I'm having a lot of fun. So see you at Tamarind Falls. Tamarind Falls doesn't offer quite as dramatic of views as Chamorel Falls, but there are no crowds to brave when viewing it, so it's a little more enjoyable in that respect. Nearby, however, you can sort of choose your own adventure to reach Seven Cascades, which are these series of falls and pools beneath them. Unfortunately, I only had time for a shorter hike this day and a less impressive pool, 
so I'd highly suggest devoting a few hours to getting near the bottom of the seven for a more enjoyable experience and a proper swim. You all saw the foreshadowing disclaimer a minute ago, and as you can see, the weather did indeed turn from lovely to a little less motorbike friendly. Yeah, motorbikes were fun and all until it starts pissing down rain like it is now. And then you get kind of stuck. You either go below 50 kilometers an hour, which is about how much you can tolerate as the rain whips up against your chest, or you can pull off to the side of the road. Luckily on my way, I spotted this. It looks like a Hindu temple of sorts. So I uh, made it a point to stop here on my way back and it just so happens it started to rain, so perfect timing. Um, so I'll take a look at this and then hop back on the road. I have about 45 minutes to get back to our hotel. Um, luckily iPhones are waterproof nowadays, so we're testing that today. Another striking feature of Mauritius is its display of its deep religious devotion. Mauritians are roughly 50% Hindu, 33% Christian, and 17% Muslim. Riding around this country, you can't help but pull over to admire the detail of the various houses of worship. Really the only reason I did end up getting caught in the rain is because I kept pulling over to enjoy the temples, masjids, and secret little lakes like this one. It's one of those really cool travel moments where you're riding on the bike, it starts to rain, you're kind of like, come on man, I'm just trying to get home. And then you realize that you are on an African island in the middle of the Indian Ocean, riding a bike as it softly rains. And uh, then you pull up to a lake like this and realize that you are being a whiny, spoiled little brat and not realizing all the beauty that is around you. It's crazy, as you come down Black River Gorges National Park, everywhere you look off to the left and to the right of your bike, you see secret little lakes, secret little mountains, and um, it's just beautiful to come upon. After finally making my way home and braving a little more rain once I got there, Aaron and I decided to really get into the spirit of the all-inclusive resort and create some new characters to inhabit during our stay. Aaron, it's rain. There's only one logical thing to do. It's to go have a drink at the Cavendish. Oh, yes. Oh, do you think that's Bob? Bob? Bob and Susie? Bob and Susie will, of course, be there. It's Tuesday at 3 o'clock. This is our meeting point, Aaron. All jokes aside, this is one of my favorite bars I've ever been to, so we'll definitely be making this a regular occurrence with Bob and Susie. In addition to drinks at the Cavendish, Heritage Latel Fair offers a number of athletic activities on site, and we tried to take advantage of all of them. Neither of us being big golfers, we took a lesson at their world-class course. The instructor was very patient, but I don't think either of us dropped any strokes off our handicaps that day. In addition to a gym that has all the essentials for a solid workout, Heritage has three tennis courts which are usually staffed with a pro willing to hit balls with you for yet another workout option if you can brave the heat and humidity. Hot tennis. Hot tennis here in Mauritius. There are also more leisurely options like whatever this form of pool or billiards is with a massive table and of course a giant swimming pool next to the Indian Ocean for all ages. Finally, Heritage also brings in experts from around the world to share their crafts with guests. That night, it happened to be Harp Mann, a well-known mixologist from the United Kingdom, to teach us how to make a proper cocktail. With Harp's help, Aaron mixed us up two delicious cocktails like a pro. After five days of fun in the sun and rain, and some wonderful meals with beautiful company on this gorgeous island, it was time to pack up and head home. But not before a quick recap of our time here. Hello, and welcome to your intervention. <laughs> 
Mom, Dad, what are you doing here? Can you pull the way to Mauritius for this? Anyway, we have really enjoyed our time here. Certainly a lot more to see here in Mauritius. We only scratched the surface, um, but I think you get a good idea of how beautiful and how naturally beautiful this island is. And hopefully for those of you who may have not even heard of this country before, um, you, you get a little intrigued, get a little excited, maybe even take a trip out here one day. You buy because, a map? Yeah, what? I mean, if you haven't heard of Mauritius, Probably buy a map and start studying a little bit. Just torpedoing <laughs> the interview here. What did you think about our room? Yeah. And a bed, and a shower. What the hell more do you need? Clean towels every couple days? A walk-in closet. I had a huge spa bathtub. I don't know. I liked it a lot. We'll probably sign off here for Mauritius. Thank you as always for checking out another uh, video here on the channel. And uh, if you liked it, like, comment. Subscribe. Where are the where are the buttons these days? <laughs> she she gets the point. After you know fifteen or so videos, now she knows how to how to hype them up. Too. Ding. Anyway, catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot again for stopping by. Do the, do the palm out properly. This is the camera. <laughs> you just got to go straight on. What are we doing here? <laughs>